So it is 2024 and I can confidently say that I've been working on this setup for the past year or so. Now there hasn't been a ton of changes, but there has been enough changes to warrant making a video like this one. Especially because whether it be live on stream, in person, or just in the comment sections of my anime reaction videos, people be asking me a lot what's exactly on my desk and how I use it for content, when a lot of it is really just stuff that I thought looked cool. <laughs> but a good amount of it is used to make these videos and allows me to be a lot more productive than I typically would be. So starting on the right hand side of the desk is the heartbeat and lifeline of the entire setup. It is my NZXT Streaming Plus PC. It has a 3070 Ti in it and a Ryzen 7 5900X. It is a pre-built because I am nowhere near brave enough to build my own computer. But NZXT pre-builds work just fine. I love their products and this is not an ad. I don't work with NZXT. In fact, I don't work with any of the brands that are listed in this video at all, but I do love their products and I think they make good stuff um, that's worth the money. Like it's a lot cheaper than most other brands are and it has steamrolled through any task. Whether I'm live streaming, gaming, or just recording videos, it has worked perfectly fine till now. And I think I got it like two or two to four years ago around there. I'm kind of fuzzy on it. So I don't think they sell this one anymore. I'm pretty sure they only sell the 40 series cards, but for literally the exact same price that I got this one. So you're gonna end up getting a better product anyways. And the thing really is a beast. I have like no reason to upgrade at the moment. So to elaborate a little more on the Xbox, I came from Xbox, pause, and I was originally a console gamer. And both of my Xboxes, well, I actually take that back. I was gonna say that both of my Xboxes were gifts, but only this one was. The first one I ended up buying with my own money that I saved up when I was really little. And this is the 1X Scorpio edition, which was gifted to me by my brother-in-law. When I first started streaming, it was on console. And so that was really my lifeline before the PC was. Now I strictly use my computer, but it's not like I'm putting Xbox down or anything because I I am from the Xbox family and I will always love Xbox and their consoles and all that stuff. On top of it is an assortment of goodies ranging from little knickknacks and decorations to actual controllers that I use for my computer because I don't really game with a mouse. I strictly pretty much just use my controller, which is a Razer Chroma V2 Wolverine, something along those lines. I'll link it down below. And I know scuffs exist and battle beavers and whatnot of controllers. And I definitely don't think everybody needs to spend 150 bucks on a controller like this. I used to use a Power A controller. Now I don't know a lot about that brand and what's gone on with it since then. So don't take my word for it. But those were like 30 bucks and were perfectly fine for what I was doing just gaming anyways. This was just an upgrade and it's really the best controller I've ever had. Build quality, they rarely ever break on me. I've, I've dropped this thing a million times and I've had zero issues with it. It has the reprogrammable buttons on the back and on the top and that's really what lets me be a little more proficient in games when I otherwise wouldn't be. But if you're into Xbox controllers and stuff like that, well, this is a really good one. And the rest of the things on top of the Xbox are just pretty much decorations and I will go into that a lot more in the room tour video. So if you're interested in the decorations, make sure you guys subscribe for that one. It should be coming out in a few weeks. And merging the gap between my PC and Xbox are my monitors. And we'll start with this one on the left here because it's the one I know the least about. And it was also gifted to me by my brother-in-law. It is an Acer monitor. And for the love of my life, I cannot find what model it is. It is a 1080p, 120 hertz monitor. And it served as my main monitor for a very, very long time until I saved up enough money to buy my own, which is the Samsung Odyssey G7 1440p 27 inch one. 165 hertz monitor this thing is now my main monitor it's beautiful vibrant it's not the most color accurate but i just wanted a pretty monitor that could game really well and it has served me well since i bought it i don't really have the money to go be buying like a really expensive 800 dollars thousand dollar monitor and while this one does retail i think at like five to six hundred bucks best buy always is having it on sale for like two hundred dollars and i believe it is cheaper because it is the flat version now i don't know the science between curved flat and whatever, but I haven't had a single issue switching from the Acer curved to the Samsung flat monitor 
calendar and I haven't noticed a performance dip or gain, but this has served me really, really well. And I have had a lot of people tell me like, oh, be careful because it's a Samsung monitor, but I've never had any issues with any Samsung products. Then again, I am a bit of a fanboy. I obviously have the monitor, a Samsung phone, Samsung wireless charger, and a Samsung watch, but I've never had any problems with any other products. So for the foreseeable future, I'm going to continue using them. And this is a monitor that I am willing to recommend for people when it's on sale. When it's on sale, I personally think it's a seal and I am willing to recommend it to you guys. Behind my monitors and kind of just lighting the accent wall are these Govi Gaming light bars. Right now, I don't know the exact model that they are, but they do help reduce eye strain when you're staring at a monitor for as long as I do, and they were pretty inexpensive. Plus, above them are my Edifier speakers. So I know they're not technically on my desk, but I do use them to listen to music or edit every single day, and they have provided some of the greatest value of any purchase, technological purchase that I've made in the last few years. Again, I don't know the model of these ones. I believe they're like the 1280Ts or something like that, but I'll figure it out in post. They sound great and I really do recommend them. They're pretty cheap. I am looking to upgrade into something completely overkill like the Yamaha HS8s. For literally no reason, these are perfectly fine and sound great. I just think it'd be hilarious to have HS8s up on the wall and a subwoofer underneath my desk, but that is an entirely different beast and very expensive so that's a goal for me to work towards much much later in a few years but these do sound incredible and sorry for jumping around so much because you literally cannot use a computer without a keyboard and mouse. So for my keyboard and mouse, I went with the glorious 60% keyboard and a Logitech M720 triathlon. The keyboard has been great. I was never really much of a keyboard person until I went to Best Buy and touched the, I believe it was the glorious pro or it could have been the Razer top of the line keyboard, whatever it was. I felt the clickety clack of the keys or I guess the thonking of the keys. And now I do want to up great eventually but this glorious 60 percenter is very very cheap and it has been treating me like royalty since i got it although i am looking to go with a 65 percent because i have had so many situations where having arrow keys would be unbelievably helpful so i won't be going with a 60 percent again and as for my mouse since i don't game on keyboard or mouse it doesn't have to be a gaming one and it has been treating me really really well since i got it i can connect one receiver to my pc and one to my laptop and just sort of flip-flop between the two systems and it also has a single remappable button so that's been really helpful alongside it's like two-year battery life or something like that that's almost everything and i do want to save one group for last so let's get these out of the way really quickly this light i have zero clue what light it is i bought it way before i even had a pc and it's just one of those random key light groups that you can find on amazon i have two of them they're like 30 bucks you could basically buy any of the brands i'm sure they all source from the exact same producer anyways as for what's actually on the light is a newer softbox that is not made for that panel so i had to jankily retrofit it to somewhat work on the back i have like a cross of cardboard it's a mess it's a mess and then i also have this little tripod that i put my camera on for whenever i stream or record it says here it's an altura photo tripod i'm sure you could find that on amazon i'll also have it linked down below for you guys and it typically sits on top of this blue yeti microphone box there's no blue yeti in it i bought one for this podcast show i run called the stray dogs we haven't had a show because my mic broke and at the moment it just doesn't make sense to go through and continue continuously pour money into it in order to buy newer newer equipment and fix things and stuff like that because it doesn't make any money it's not that big and since my mic broke this box has been relegated to assisting my tripod stand a little taller and now whenever I do like anime reactions the camera is a lot more level with my face which is kind of what I needed anyways But I did say I would leave one group of items for last and it has been something that ever since I bought my first one and just continued buying this company's things, they just keep making better and better products. And like I said earlier in the video, I literally don't work with any of these companies, but they are making the best products for streamers and content creators and that is Elgato. 
Right here, I have the Elgato Stream Deck, low arm, and the Wave 3 microphone. And through the Wavelink software, being able to clip things on Twitch and on the VOD itself, switch scenes, play, pause, Spotify, change volume, soundboard, control my lights like the Stream Deck has been unbelievably useful towards furthering my streaming career and content creation career. I'm not one that thinks you need like the greatest quality 4K cameras and all this and this and that in order to make really good quality videos and you know, grow as a streamer. Some of the biggest streamers right now do not have the craziest things. They're like streaming on a Logitech 720. But if there's one set of products that I really do think that anybody that's into content creation or streaming should get, it is a stream deck. Sorry for the glaze. I know that's a little bit, that's me writing me Elgato but they really are making good products and they deserve the praise. So you've made it to the end of the video, which congratulations because I am a yapper. But I do think that everything I said still stands. I use all of these products every single day and they have increased my productivity and workflow. Plus they also kind of just define my content creation journey thus far, which has been a mess because this channel started as a lifestyle channel, then just became the place where I dump all of my gaming videos and it was just a big old problem and the videos were ass anyways. So moving forward, forward this will strictly be my lifestyle channel and then i have mo moments which is my anime reaction channel linked to my patreon as well and then i have kenji resolute live which is where i put all of the stuff that happens on my live stream on twitch as well as just any like gaming videos that i decide to record beforehand as well i think that moving forward this system will yield better results anyways and it makes it easier for you guys to access whatever content you want to watch specifically expect more consistent videos i hope you enjoy and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.